Uh, with all the talk of opening up regionally and what Premier Doug Ford said today, Mayor John Tory has some suggestions on how to go about doing that as well. He says local authorities should have the ability to slow down or speed up the timelines that the province suggests. So we'll see how that all plays out. Meanwhile, speaking of slowing down, the city has an agreement with others to try and do so. The city has announced it is working with large downtown employers as well as colleges and universities to try and keep people working from home until September at the earliest. The city itself says it will continue to support its staff while doing so and encourages more companies to do the same. The move is to try and keep pressure off the TTC and go transit as the region starts the recovery period. By delaying and phasing in the physical return to work and school at some of these major businesses and institutions, and by staggering daily start times, for example, we are finding ways to live with the continuing threat posed by COVID-19. The City of Toronto is one of those major employers, and we will continue to prioritize remote work and delay the return of a significant number of our employees to the city's normal workplaces. As part of the city's recovery and rebuilding plan, a new survey has been launched to try and get feedback from and engage residents, communities and businesses in the city. Officials have said decisions will be based on public health considerations all along, but that input from everyone is important. Today, we heard from the head of Toronto's new recovery and rebuild office, Saad Rafi, for the first time. I think the... Um Residents and businesses of the city are probably the best people to provide input on how the city can improve its services. And this is also about the rebuild and reimagination of what the city needs to do in order to be a, a better provider of services for its customers, if you will, the citizens of the city. Earlier today, Mayor Tory toured a company called Take Care Supply. It has now produced 250,000 masks after starting up just seven weeks ago. He took the time to thank the entrepreneurs behind the operation and the 150 people that have now been employed. While at the factory, though, Tory was asked whether making masks mandatory on public transit should be considered as TTC ridership begins to increase again. We want them to feel comfortable using the public transit system again. And so uh, I don't think we would be responsible if we didn't examine uh, the option uh, in terms of the legalities of it and how it would work to say to people, if you're going to be on public transit, uh, we don't just recommend you wear a mask. We are, are suggest, you know, making, a, make it, making it mandatory, knowing that enforcement is difficult with that kind of thing when you're dealing with 1.6 million people a day.